Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of a, um, it's a high grow brand um, LED grow light. It's a 50W, it's a GLF 50. Um, it's like a floodlight style grow light and um, it's got 45 uh, 1 watt Bridgelux LEDs and it draws about 35 watts. This LED reflector is 90 degrees. It's 9.1 by 7.5 inches. It's fairly small. Max coverage at 18 inches is 2 feet by 2 feet and core coverage at 18 inches is 1.5 one by 1.5 feet. Let's go ahead and uh, cut this open and we'll take a look at it. Box there. So I got this off of Amazon. It was like on sale. At the time I got it, it was about thirty-three dollars. So here's a um, using effect presentation card. Some chili peppers, tomatoes. So this is the user manual. It's really tiny. It just folds out. That's what's on there. So these are the uh, spectrums, red 630 to 660 nanometer, 32 of those, and the blue 430 to 460 nanometer, there's nine, and there's four of the white, which is um, 3000 to 6500K Kelvin. I was rated as a 50 watt, but there's 45 one watt LEDs. And I read on the product page on the Amazon site that it uses about 35 watts. So it's um, made to be able to screw in to um, something like a wall or a um, shelf, but I'm probably just going to suspend one. And there is a, it's rated IP65, the waterproof rating. But they caution not to use it outside that's for indoor use only but i think it would probably help in like a really humid condition um, or if you're like spraying your plants little droplets it's, it's gonna protect more like that you wouldn't want to like put it outside in the rain or anything but let's go ahead and take a look at this it's pretty heavy it's a little over three pounds there's the um hanging mounting hardware okay so it's got a little glass piece covering the front see that these are all the um, LEDs behind there and these are in 90 degree reflectors, I think if I understand that correctly. So it should focus the light better coming up. It's the um, back side. It's made of aluminum. And this rotates so, so you can hang it like that, which is how I'm going to do mine. Or you could mount it sideways you got a shot of it like that then you could tilt this as well so if you were um, so if you want to just prop it up vertically okay yeah so it's a little better angle you can see how you could prop up like that. You can get it a little straighter if you wanted. So that's pretty cool. So you could, you know, shot it that way. Or you could mount it to a wall and adjust it up or down as needed. 
Yeah, it looks like this little Allen wrench fits that, so you could tighten that up if you needed to. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and um, plug it in real quick. Let me show you how that looks. What I'm going to use mine for initially is to rehabilitate a sick pepper plant at work. I gave it to a buddy of mine uh, spring before last and he never fed it or took care of it. So it's looks really pitiful and barely alive. So um, I'm going to repot it. Put it under this light and see if I can rehabilitate it, get some new growth, and bring it back to back up to a healthy level. See this a little toggle switch there, so I haven't shown that. Okay, so I've got it plugged up. Go ahead and switch this on. It's pretty nice, bright light. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'm going to set this up and show that to you, and then um, we'll see how it does with the plant. This is the sickly scotch bonnet that has been getting very little light and food for almost a year and a half. I decided to rescue it and attempt a rehab with the new grow light. So I potted it up with fresh Nutrifil Cocoa Core and made a small wicking system out of a water bottle. I suspended the light from the ceiling, initially raising it 18 inches, but I later lowered it down to 12. I'm feeding the plant Nutrifil Cocoa Nutrients, a and B. So in addition to testing the light, I'm also testing the Nutrifield products, the Nutrifield Cocoa Core Mix and their Cocoa A and B uh, nutrient product. After I set this up, I bought a kilowatt tester to test how much this is actually using. The product specs say it averages 35 watts. When I tested it, this one is using around 40 watts. Still not bad. Um, when I also checked the um, the amp usage and it's pulling about 0.35 amps. So it's been 12 days exactly. I did see a lot happen over the first week because of transplant shock and adjusting to the new setup. The plant is responding very well and most of the new growth has appeared over the last few days. The leaves in the center are new and there is also a lot of growth occurring at the node points along the trunk as you can see here. And while I have this going, I'm also testing something else, uh, a makeshift or a set of makeshift germinating sprouting wick chambers that I made. And I've got seeds all planted in there and I just started them less than a week ago, but they should start coming up soon. I'm very happy with the light so far. I'll post another update in a few weeks to show how the plants are doing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and please like, comment and subscribe.